Hello friends. In this video, we are going to solve a problem on how we can derive the transfer function of a system whose state space model is given to us. So let's take a problem. So our problem is we have uh, to obtain the transfer function of the given state equation. The state equations are given to us. So let's try to solve this problem. We know that when we want to derive the transfer function from the state model, we have a formula for it. And the formula for the transfer function is C. This is the formula for the transfer function uh, if we want to derive it from the state model. So for this we have to first find out the SI minus A inverse and then we will multiply it with C matrix and the B matrix. So these matrices are given to us in the question. This is our A matrix, this is B matrix and this is C matrix and D matrix is not given so it is 0. So we will first find out the SI minus A inverse. So first we will have SI minus A which is S because A it is a 3 by 3 matrix so we have to take the identity matrix also as the 3 by 3 so we will have S00 minus A. A matrix is given to us in the question it is 0, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 1, 0. This is SI minus A. Let's solve it. S minus 0 is 0 minus 1, minus 1, 0 minus 0, again 0, 0 minus minus 1 is 1. S minus minus 1 will be S plus 1. 0 minus 0, 0. 0 minus 1, minus 1. 0 minus 0, 0. S minus 0 is S. So this is SI minus A. Now we have to calculate SI minus A inverse. So for calculating the inverse, it is the division of a joint of SI minus A upon determinant of SI minus A. So first we will calculate the determinant. Okay. So the, for determinant, we will have S s plus 1 multiplied with s minus 0 multiplied with 0. Then we have minus of minus 1. 1 multiplied with s and minus 1 multiplied with 0. So we will have s minus 0. then this will be 0. So our determinant will be S, S squared plus S minus 0 minus and minus 1 will be plus 1 and plus 1 multiplied with S will be S. 
So we will have s cube plus s square plus s. This is our determinant of si minus a. Now we have to find out the adjoint of si minus a. For this we will first find out the cofactors. So for cofactors we will like for this the cofactors will be this multiply into this and then sign change. So s into s plus 1 it will be s square plus s and then we have to write it here. So this is So for finding the inverse, we will first find out the adjoint of SI minus A and for adjoint, we will have to first calculate the cofactors and then we will take the transpose of it. So the adjoint of SI minus A divided by the determinant when we will calculate this, it will come out to be S plus 1. So we have calculated the adjoint and then we have divided it with the determinant. So determinant you can also take S as common and then the remaining term will be S square plus S plus 1. And uh, in this the S and S they are cancelled so we are left with this. And this is the inverse of SI minus A. Now for the determination of the transfer function. We have to calculate C SI minus A inverse B plus D. D here we have 0 and C is given to us in the question. It is 0, 0, 1. Then SI minus A inverse value we have calculated here. So we are just going to put this value here. B is also given to us in the question. It is 0, 1, 0. So we will just multiply these three matrices and then we will get the resultant transfer function. So when we will multiply this 0 into this term, it will become 0. Then 0 into this term, it is going to become 0. And 1 into this. So our first term will be S plus 1 upon S s square plus s plus 1. Then second term this into this 0, this into this 0 and 1 into this so we are left with s plus 1 upon s. Then we have the this row and the last uh, column 0 into 0, 0 into 0 and 1 into 1 by s so we are left with 1 by s. Then we have to multiply this with this matrix 0, 1, 0. So when we will multiply this into 0, it will become 0. Then this into 1. So we are left with s plus 1 upon s, s square plus s plus 1. Or we can say we are left with s plus 1 upon, multiply this, s cube plus s square plus 1. Okay. So this is our 
transfer function of this system. So I hope that this problem is clear to you that how we can derive the transfer function of a system when its state space model is given to us. Just use the formula and calculate SI minus A inverse and then put the value of all the matrices. You can easily calculate the transfer function. Thank you.